your favorite YouTube dealer. I appreciate you guys for stopping in. We got some more gyro. I absolutely love these guys. I think their beatboxing is unbelievable. This is for the GBB 2023 elimination. So it's one last kiss. Get lucky. Fuego beatbox remix. We already know they're going to kill it. We just got to enjoy it. Talk about it a little bit and, and, you know, see where they go from here. I'm also going to do one of their two on twos from GBB 2023. So that will be up probably sometime after this, I think. I don't know which order they're going to go in, but I'm here for all of it. So you guys let me know. Keep me updated on what we got to do, especially from the GBB 2023, because I think there's a lot of dope stuff that probably came out in that. もう特にであってたから初めてあなたを見たあの日動き出したグルまとめられない喪失うのよかもういっぱいあるけどもう一つ増やしましょう beautiful voice can you give me a last kiss? Mm. 忘れたくないこと Okay, that scene switch worked out well. That was flawless. Like the legend of the Phoenix. All ends with beginnings. While I keep some blood as beginnings. The force for the beginnings. Look. They nasty with it. You gotta love it. Ooh, okay. All these transitions are really, really dope. I like this. Both visually and beatboxing wise. They just, they work so well together. They both have amazing voices. I've said this so many times in beatboxing videos, but I feel like every single person that I've heard beatbox also has a really dope melodic voice. I feel like it's, it's almost like it's a thing, right? Like if you beatbox, you also can kind of low key sing. And it's crazy to me. Like there's not one person that I've heard that's like, they, just, they don't have vocals that can go along with their beatboxing and just add something to it. So I don't, I don't know. It's, it's always really impressive to me. And it's, it's also odd to me, right? Because not everybody can sing, but I guess maybe having a really good understanding of instruments by using their voice and stuff like that and of, you know, the vocal tones and like they understand all of that stuff. So maybe that's why they've all found their ability to do it. And then it, it makes me wonder, like, can all of us have a voice like that can hit certain melodies and stuff like that? We just have to have a better understanding of like our tone of voice and like what our voice is actually capable of and what it can do, because obviously everybody can't hit every single note or be, at, you know, a certain tenor or whatever it is. I don't know the term for it, but it, that's what I think that it has to come down to, right? Oh, 
does with it like I can't do it I know it just seems like he hits his throat or does something at times like I, all I know is th- th- yo this shit is ridiculously good to me if they didn't win the GBB 2023 duos I'm gonna be very surprised I'm gonna be very surprised <laughs> Let's go. That was extremely dope. I am doing the, one of their two on twos from the GBB 2023, but I feel like I had to put it behind more videos. Like I'm doing a bunch of recordings right now. I'm going to record other stuff first and then do that last. The reason why is I feel like when I do beatbox back to back, like my face starts hurting because I'm constantly scrunching it and stuff because I, I'm hearing things that I'm just like, how, how are they doing this? It's it's absolutely unbelievable. I also got to go back and check to see if there's anything new that's came up from the homie D-Lo because he, in my opinion, is like the GOAT. Like, he's probably one of my favorite when it comes to this uh, this beatboxing shit. And we did a bunch of videos on him already. And I'm just so impressed with that man. Like, there are so many good people in this space. It's hard to keep up. Like, it, it really, really is. And like I said, shout out to all of them because they taught me that beatboxing is so much more than I ever thought it was, right? Like, I never downplayed it. But again, as someone who raps and I never really dove into all different parts of the culture and all these different things that have kind of come from, you know, because I, I consider beatboxing like a, you know, a hip hop kind of thing. And I could be wrong. Maybe people think of it differently. But I, I look at it as like a hip hop thing. And I never really dove into all the different aspects. Right. Like there's there's uh, like different kinds of dances. And you know what I'm saying? I kind of just stuck with rap. And so when I heard somebody beatbox, my initial mentality was like, OK, like you just do something simple like. Like, I, it's not even good. Don't get me wrong. I know that. But just something very simple. And then, like, I just rap over it. Like, I just, that that was that was my extent, as far as my knowledge goes, of beatboxing. And then I started to hear these guys. And I'm just like, yo, what? You did what? Like, hot, wait, let me, like, what sound just came out of your mouth? Like, it's absolutely crazy to me. It's been a mind-blowing last couple of years as I've realized this more and more. Because... I had never come across this shit before you guys kind of presented it to me. And shout out to my man, Ben. I don't know if he's watching these videos, but he's coming to my live streams and would kind of keep putting me onto it. And that's kind of a big part of what led me down doing some of these reactions and shit like that. So shout out to him. But yeah, this is um, this is dope. This is dope. So uh, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you. And I will catch you in the next one, homies.